Why It's Hard to Root for 90 Day Fiancés Brandon and Julia 90 Day Fiancé Pair Brandon and Julia's Married Life has been a series of unfortunate events since Season 8, but the couple isn't always sympathetic. 90 Day Fiancé Couple Brandon Gibbs and Julia Trubkina don't seem that truthful when it comes to their recent relationship troubles. Brandon from Virginia and Julia, a Russian girl from Krasnodar, got married in 90DF Season 8. Julia used to perform as a go-go dancer in a club. Back then, Brandon's friend saw her and thought she'd be a good match for the Dinwiddie man. When she moved to America, Julia had a hard time adjusting to her new life on Brandon's parents' farm. Betty and Ron Gibbs formerly interfered in the duo's lives, but Brandon and Julia seem to get along well with them now. However, all has apparently not been well in Brandon and Julia's marriage. Julia has claimed that she could be deported from the country, and has health issues. Also, the pair have conflicting opinions about babies, as well as the job that Julia should be doing. However, their social media accounts sometimes paint a different picture. Julia and Brandon are desperate to get back on reality TV. Julia and Brandon's last 90-day fiancé appearance was in 90 Day Diaries Season 3 in 2022. They've been away from reality TV screens since, but were rumored to make a comeback via 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after. Season 7 In July 2022, Julia made a shocking claim. She alleged that she was cut from the show. Julia told a fan on Instagram that it was, because I'm Russian, adding that it was her, guess. Since they've been away from the franchise for more than a year, Julia and Brandon's social media antics might be a ploy to get attention, and score a new 90DF franchise gig. Julia's series of unfortunate events have started to look fake. Julia's Instagram stories are where she shares life updates with her followers, and most of the time, they don't seem very believable. Julia might have a habit of exaggerating the situations in her life to make them look more serious than they really are. In October 2021, Julia claimed she got a death wish from old women via Instagram due to her tattoo, which was supposedly fake. Julia's post in July 2022 was captioned, Lately everything is not so with us. Plans are collapsing. Friends are failing. Phones are breaking. Health is deteriorating. She mentioned that she had to deal with documents again until December. My green card expires. In the same month, Julia was electrocuted by a fence, and claimed she was facing deportation. However, Julia and Brandon took an expensive overseas trip to Dubai, amid the devastating life problems that she was facing at home. As per Julia, her visa expired in December 2022, and her court date for an immigration hearing was set for April 26, 2023, which also happened to be her anniversary. Amid this, Julia and Brandon moved into a new Virginia beach house they'd bought. In April 2023, Julia cried on Instagram, while revealing that her passport and other important valuables were stolen from her car. Julia and Brandon can't stick to their sob story. As per Julia, her bag was recovered from her neighbor's property. However, when she approached them, 
the neighbor apparently threatened to shoot her, and called her a drug dealer. Julia's latest problems involve her wanting to resume her go-go dancer career, and Brandon not being okay with it. Another issue is Brandon wanting babies, when she declared that she might never have kids back in May 2023. Brandon claimed Julius dancing wouldn't have a positive impact on their marriage. Nonetheless, their latest Instagram update shows Julia and Brandon setting up a table for a romantic dinner for the 290 Day Fiancé Stars, which is also brand-sponsored. 